All right, so here we have the axe wrapped, finally. Also, I made a backup of this, so I duplicated this, and this is the one with the curves, so if I hit tab, I can go back into the curves. Who knows when I'll need this, but I like to keep a backup copy of such things, just in case. That way I don't have to keep doing it over and over. Now, you have to decide what your resolution is going to be. Do you want it this high res? Again, this is what it looks like. So if I go into wireframe, it's that high res. So I could choose a lower resolution by going into the preview. Okay, like that. And I choose the same thing. So here's two. This one I'm going to choose two. I like that. Also, based upon this curve right here, Okay, that's on a preview of two. So if I lower that down, what happens? Okay, it gets kind of squished. So I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is. All right, once I'm happy with them, I'll highlight them in object mode and I'll go object, convert, mesh from curve. Okay, now these are no longer curves. They are meshes. So notice it does not have the mesh pro or the curve property anymore like these do. Here's a curve option. This one does not have the curve option. Being it doesn't have the curve option, I have now polygons and I could do things like joining. So here is my handle. I'm just going to hide that. I'm going to take these two objects and join them together. Join. Then I'm just going to take a couple seconds to take these vertices, this one and this one, merge those at center. Again, there is a hotkey for that. I'm going to let you play around with that. Here's a repeat last. That works rather well. So I'm just stitching these together. And there we go. One solid chunk of rope. I'm going to name this something else. I'm going to name it rope. These two... I'll call this curve rope. Get a better naming convention here. And curve rope two. Copy that. Again, I can't stress how you know, you should keep your scene really neat, very organized. And you can see under there, I have the curve rope. So it's going to give you the bizarre curve 002 at first, and then you can go down. Uh, so you can name that in the mesh and with the curve or both. It doesn't really matter. It's how you want to keep it organized. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Again, you'll never know if you're going to be using this again in the future. So it's always good to keep a backup copy of it. 
Okay, what are these? These are this. Whoops. That is rope handle. And what's this thing? This thing needs to be here only because if I destroy it, it will destroy this. Okay? So I'm going to keep that in there as far as Vizera curve or circle. All right. Very cool stuff. Now, uh, if you want, you know, you can duplicate this around and add it to different parts of the mesh too. So if I take this object and move it down and then show my pommel. If I just rotate it a little bit, nobody's the wiser that it's the same part. I'll set origin to geometry. That way it's in dead center. And when I rotate it around, it makes sense. So now the knot's on a different size. I can even scale it negatively, whatever, just so it, it breaks the point where uh, it looks like the same. Another thing they used to do is wrap the handle in like a cow hide. So if I want to kind of mimic that a little bit, I can grab this part. Maybe make a transition between the rope and this. These slight little variations really do add a lot to the mesh. I'll keep that a separate part because it's going to get texturized different. In the end, I can join it all. I can get rid of the inside faces if I wanted to also just to keep the poly count, count down. Again, this isn't about poly count. Poly count's unlimited for this. Uh, it's just the fact that you're starting to build things and they're starting to look cool and you're getting your... Um, game on. Multi-resolution. I'm just going to subdivide this part so it looks a little bit better. There we go. Okay. It would be nice to have something maybe at the top. I don't know what, but uh, maybe the, let's look at that in the next video.